What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Modern Cube Draft here on YouTube.com slash Frank Lepore or Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore or Magic Online, whatever you prefer. I don't think we've ever opened a Jace the Mind Sculptor. I think we've only got past a Jace the Mind Sculptor, like third pick, uh, which was cringy. It was pretty cringy. Um... This pack is kind of stanky pits, but I'm real tempted to take this Grey Merchant because this is where the guy in the in the comments is like, bad drafter. And then I'm going to be like, oh, you don't actually understand. Sometimes I don't take the best card in the pack because I like to have fun and try new things. I guess you just don't understand the dynamic that's happening here. And that's fine. <clears throat> but, you know, if I take this Grey Merchant, I want you all to know, it's not because I'm thinking it's the best card in the pack, though it actually might be. It's actually because I like having fun while I play Magic. Because if you're not having fun, what are you doing it for, you know? On the Bob Ross, on the Bob Ross of Magic streams. Oh, Night Vale Spectre goes well with Grey Merchant, doesn't he? Doesn't, don't they? Hard to say. Yeah, I would love to take Ancestral Vision, but I don't think that goes that well with Grey Merchant. I don't think we're going to have a... Ooh, Bitter Blossom and Bloodline Keeper. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, all by myself. Gary Larry Degg. Okay, so I love the idea of that, but I don't want to be blue. Don't want to be all by myself. Did I just take this Cold Steel Heart? I like Cold Steel Heart because it's one of the few that taps for the the exact color you want. Like, all the Signets are going to tap for two, which sometimes you just don't need. Um, Prismatic Lens is going to tap for a color, but it's not going to do it for, for cheap. Um... And Mindstone obviously doesn't tap for a color. So if you want to play Obliterator on turn four or on turn three, this is the only way to do it. <clears throat> yeah, Chris, do you like the direction that uh, Hearthstone R&D went in going into this pack or into this set? It's really, I think there's a lot, I think they made a lot of interesting choices. There. I want to take the Bloodline Keeper. <clears throat> oh, this guy goes good with Gary. I'm not a huge fan of Soren Markov. Let's, let's make that clear right up front. Not a big Soren fan. However, if we're mono black, and if we're playing Grey Merchant, I think Soren is a reasonable card to pick up. This pack is terrible. But people in the chat, in the comments, on the YouTube, on the YouTube comments, I'm talking to you guys right now, like to tell me that I undervalue Smuggler's Copter. So right now, because of you guys, I'm gonna take a Smuggler's Copter. Smuggle Smuggler's sm We did it, boys. We did it. The dream has been realized. I can't... Uh... I, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents. I'd like to thank my mom and dad. Um, I'd like to thank... Uh, all the fine folks at Twitch.tv. I think you guys... Uh, you guys deserve a little appreciation for all the, for the hard work you do. I'd like to thank the Magic Online programmers for for sending me this this Phyrexian Obliterator. Uh, you're truly doing the Lord's work here. And uh, have a good night. God bless. I'm going to take this Sidisi. Because <clears throat> there's nothing else really for us. I'd rather have a Sidisi, which is at worst a... Ooh. Perilous Mirror is nice with Sidisi. Sack the Perilous Mirror. Search for Grey Merchant. Kill you actually pretty good uh what about the not so fine folks at twitch tv you know what i'm not one to judge here I, i'm gonna let i'm gonna let the uh the internal workings of twitch.tv work themselves out amongst itself and uh i will be a, a silent observer can this be a dishonesty stream let's let's see what you have in mind Caracong. Don't wanna be 
Why do I have... don't want to be all by myself stuck in my head. That's strange, isn't it? Nothing, literally nothing in here. Um, we'll take a cast out. I imagine white could be a splashable color, as it usually is. I see Manipulator actually gives black some answers to some things, maybe? I think Ruthless Ripper is hot garbage. I also think we have enough... Uh, Removal. I actually think Icy could be could could be playable in our in our mono black deck. If indeed this is a mono black deck. Oh, the Cold Steel Heart came back? Gas. I'm gonna actually take this over consuming vapors. I think we can probably have enough removal. Cold Steel Heart was the exact card we wanted to come back, which is just phenomenal. I guess we'll take the Mana Tithe. I don't know. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Whatever. None of these cards are... Well, all the white cards are coming back. I hope you're... I heard your song today. It's pretty good. What? Do I have a song? Are you talking about the... Uh, do you plan on streaming any of the new Hearthstone? Agent Cody Ganks, I will actually be coming back later tonight to stream the new Hearthstone. I will have a nighttime stream tonight. We can all get 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 comfortable, and uh, we'll we'll open some Witchwood packs. <clears throat> vampire Vampire Nighthawk, Life Bane Zombie, Mirror Solemn. It's got to be Nighthawk, right? Nighthawk is just OP. <clears throat> yeah, it's Nighthawk. We also want the life gain. I want to take Nighthawk. Boop. I would really like some sort of reanimation here. Whip of Erebos would be great. Um, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I just want to get Gary's back. Probably good. Yeah, Whip of Erebos is probably great. Send me an angel right now. Right now. If I ask you guys to send me an angel, are you actually going to send me one, or am I just asking for nothing here? What's a, what's 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 really going on? All right, the the black cards are drying up, unfortunately, but nothing in here is really worth taking. Um, so I'm actually just going to take the the Palladium Mirror because I I just also think it's fine. It's just a fine card. Fine cards on both sides. Tragic slip. Maybe. Ink eyes? Maybe. Gonna get a little schwasty and open Witchwood. I have like, I think I'll have like 180 packs to open at that point. 170 packs, something like that. So, we'll be opening some packs, boys. It's probably just Tragic Slip, right? We have a lot of creatures. I also don't mind Spellskite. It takes the pressure off of things like Obliterator and Bloodline Keeper. Actually, we're going to go Spellskite here. This is a heavy colorless draft here. Oh, Hero's Downfall. Yes, please. I actually wouldn't even mind if this Wander and Death came back, just because we can uh, get back things like Bloodline Keeper or Gary. All of these creatures are very, very... Like, we have a lot of... Uh... Oh, wow, one drink for pack... Ancient Cody Ganks, I can't be responsible for your death, sir. I apologize... In advance for not allowing these shenanigans, but I can't, I can't kill you. Oh, unless you're implying I'm doing that, and then in which case, no, sir. Uh, I'm gonna take this Vampire X Mage because it just kills Planeswalkers. Thoughtsy, Sword of Feast and Famine. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We can also put it on a Spell Skite, which is pretty comical. So I'm gonna do that. I like Thoughtseize a lot, but I like a Sword better, especially because uh, a lot of the, a lot of times these black decks don't have uh, enough reach. So, you're going to ask a question to think I walked off set to watch. What did you ask? I didn't even see your honesty question. Okay, so sometimes when it's in red, I actually don't look at it because I think it's just my, um, like the bot, like the, the bot that's in the chat, like posting things uh, at intervals. All right, you said, who is your greatest source of inspiration in gaming? Can't be you, real answers only, no jokes. Uh, Sean Plot. Sean Plot is actually my greatest inspiration in gaming. Um, I had the pleasure of being with Sean at the Community Cup in 2014 in the Magic Online Community Cup. Uh, I met him at that time. It was great. 
Um, he's been an awesome dude to to keep up with, and um, I I think every day, whenever every, whenever I see Sean playing a game or streaming something or making a video or doing doing commentary or whatever, um, I'm inspired to be more like Sean in the sense that like he has this great positive attitude about things, and it's it's almost infectious. And it's really hard to not want to be more like that, I think. So, and it's been consistent too. Like, I'll, I like just the other day, I saw a clip of Sean and I was like, this is it. This is how, this is exactly how I want to be uh, perceived or like, you know, how, how I want to behave or like, you know, stuff like that. So, like, it's very, it's very inspiring to, to see Sean. And, and Sean Plot is day nine, by the way, the, uh, the popular. I could see taking unburial rights, but we don't have a way to splash the white. So I, I could see taking unburial rights, but right now we don't have a way to splash the white. So I'm just gonna take this Greyborn Muse, and he haw mouth. All right, this deck is. Well, we had some we had some hiccups here. I think this deck is actually coming together pretty well. Hmm. Like we're getting all the pieces that we really want. Like, Greyborn Muse has actually been instrumental in drawing us multiple cards per turn. I've actually been, every time we've had Greyborn Muse, it's been impressive. And I, I really like that we got this Cold Steel Heart back. Because it turns, uh, it turns all of our <laughs> two, our four drops into three drops if we hit it. Honest question, could you never wrap like that again, please? Uh, because it was too good? I understand. I can try to, I can try to tone it down a little bit, the quality, if it's, if it was too high for you. Because I can understand how that would be, uh, emasculating. So, my, my apologies. I apologize. <clears throat> has there ever been a creature that has the ability to destroy a planeswalker that isn't like, you know, 10,000 10, mana? It's like 10,000 mana when all you need is a creature that destroys a planeswalker. Um, like, outside of like something like Woodfall Primus, like a creature that specifically destroys a planeswalker. And that's its like flavorful purpose. I don't think so. I actually like Mirror Battlesfield more than Life Bane Zombie, I think. But maybe not. I think we have a lot of high end. And I also think this guy is great because it uh, has both Intimidate and two Black Pips. Pip, 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 pips. I want to take this Canyon Slew. In case you want to splash this Olivia. What's more tilting, Frank Robbing or Sober Robert singing into his red cup? Sober Robert. <laughs> <clears throat> so not vampire hex mage like an actual card that's that says destroy target planeswalker or like destroy a planeswalker something like that because i want to know if there's a creature like a creature in magic's lore or flavor history that has the ability specifically to like kill planeswalkers to to, to put out their sparks you know like that would be cool that would be a cool ability to have like it's just like a planeswalker assassin, right? Like he travels through uh, he travels through planes himself or the, themselves, um, in order to snuff out the sparks of of planeswalkers. I know Hexmage does that. You're not understanding the question. <laughs> yeah, Pitiless Horde is actually pretty good. Pitiless Horde, actually, as you guys might have seen yesterday, did some work for us. It was able to just actually kill our opponent. We also have three red black lands. And makes me wonder if Olivia is now a splashable. And dire. Maybe this is our little red package. Got a little red package here. Slaughter packed? Meh. This pack is pretty boop, pretty 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 poops. If this is like a sort of body in mind or a sort of fire and ice, I'd be like, okay. Okay, so you guys are naming a planeswalker that can kill planeswalkers. Well, I can just name Hero's Downfall. That's a that's a card that kills planeswalkers, right? <clears throat> a creature, guys. We're talking about creatures here that specifically kill planeswalkers, not tangentially kill planeswalkers by like removing counters or you know. Like you could then you could say like I don't know, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna take Slaughter Pact, I guess. What up, Heavenly Thunder? One hundred view bots. You're gonna be that guy. <laughs> well, actually, if they were traveling to different planes, they wouldn't be able to do that. Well, they'd be themselves. Love you guys. 
Vana kills, yeah, Vana kills walkers, but not specifically, right? Like, killing a permanent is not what I'm looking for. I want to know a card that says, like, Hero's Downfall text, kill a creature or a planeswalker. I'm just saying, if it doesn't exist, it doesn't exist. That's fine, but that's what I'm looking for here. G Galta does kill planeswalkers, you're not wrong. Is this the point of the stream where we just splash Nicol Bolas now? Off of our, our three red lands and finding a blue land? I mean, real talk, I don't know how this this draft is going to go because we are taking uh, some pretty subpar cards like Lily on a Spectre because it's the only thing in the pack for us. But you got to do what you got to do here. You got to keep the black train rolling. Pack Rat. Packy McRacky. All right, that's actually pretty good. We'll take the Pack Rat. <clears throat> oh, Ruinous Path and Night's Whisper and Duplicant. That's pretty good. I think Duplicant is not on the menu because we already have a lot of removal. We have, uh, I guess we just have, I guess we actually just have to take Ruinous Path because we don't actually have that much removal after all. We have Hero's Downfall for the most part. I like Ruinous Path a lot though. All right, deck is done. We also have Slaughter Pack, but I'm not a big Slaughter Pack fan because it's hard to plan around. So a lot of times you'd be like, well, I don't have any plays on turn three. Oh, you played a big guy, kill it. All right, on my, my turn four, I play nothing. So it ends up costing you like six mana. Sometimes I just want to play it when I can play it, you know what I mean? It's like 10,000 spoons and all you need is a knife. Her Harold! Chromatic Lantern. Probably not great for us, but... Slaughter Pack is medium. You're not wrong. You are not... You are not incorrect, sir. I don't think we need Chromatic Lantern. Like, Chromatic Lantern's not fixing. It's just ramp for us. So if we want to go to turn five with the Chromatic Lantern... If it was if it was uh, Coalition Relic, I'd probably be sold. But I think we're just going to take Herald of Torment here. Which is actually f just fine. What up, Simek? Well, you might have to riot, because I don't know where Mike is. I don't keep track of him, unfortunately. I guess fortunately for me, unfortunately for you guys. You guys can keep track of him if you like. I just updated his tracking software, so if you guys uh, if you guys want the schematics for that so you can upload it into your Raspberry Pis and keep track of him yourself, that seems seems fine. I can we can arrange that. <sighs> Can we talk about how exciting Dominaria looks? Just for a minute. So now I have to choose between Whip of Erebos and Hypnotic Specter. Mm, that's fair. And an ultimate price. Some packs had literally doo-doo for, for cards, and now we get the, the pack that has real good cards in it. I'm pretty sure it's Whip here. We have a lot of good Whip targets that have Enders the Battlefield abilities that two cool things but boy do I rather have hippie or ultimate price what do you mean setting the bar too high with dominaria you mean like for for future sets oh and see look like this pack can't have anything in it I don't understand this distribution is disappointing at best I'm gonna deny someone a sphinx's revelation or we can take an earthquake and splash it potentially and just 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 earthquake their faces. <sighs> One pack with three good black cards in it. Two packs with zero good black cards in it. Well, we're not taking crystal shard this time. Either 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 sphere harvester is fine. Do you think all sets are going to be this power level since Watsi's doing the whole one set? Uh, no, I don't think there's any any possible way that's possible. I mean, all sets are different anyway. Like, you can't have sets that are exactly the same power level all the time. Like, you have to have some sets that are powerful and then some sets that are less powerful and some sets that are more powerful. Like, that's just magic. That's just card design in general. You just can't have all sets having the same power level. Not only because it's hard to design them that way, but just because it's boring.
It's like 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife. It's like meeting the elk tears of your dreams. And then he has a beautiful wife. And isn't that ironic? I know that I never produce anything good for fear that the next thing I do might not be as good. Wow, see, that's that's perfectionist syndrome. And that's not good, my friend. That is actively bad. Don't do that. Good lord. Man, we could have a heck of a... Uh, our sideboard is literally just Mardu. We could have a heck of a Mardu deck. This is 24 cards. You got to cut one thing. It might be Icy Manipulator. But Icy does... Oh, wow. Well, that's actually pretty good. Oh, wow. I think we're actually playing Mimic Vat. Mimic Vat seems insane. Oh, yes. Let's play Mimic Vat. I want to take out Herald of Torment. Even though a Herald of Torment on like a Phyrexian Obliterator seems pretty good. What up, Tom to Tom Tom? Interesting. Silengar's Command, Honor, uh, Runa's Path, Never Return. Dreadborg Garrick Heroes, Now Full Defeat Cycle. That's interesting. Those are the only cards. Huh. Well, I'll be. Cut Soren. It's like our only Planeswalker. I could see cutting Soren, though. Uh, he just heals, but he also nugs them for... Like, you can play Soren, put their life total to 10, and then just literally kill them with Grey Merchant for Xaxes. Like, this is a two-card combo. <laughs> I think this deck actually looks pretty sweet. I like... I like Liliana Spectre more. What up, Mike? Um, I like Liliana Spectre more because we have Whip of Erebos. And obviously because we have Grey Merchant, but... Oh, because we cut if we cut Soren, I get you. I see what you're saying here. I actually think Soren is probably better than Liliana. Frank, I was gonna ask you to do a mono black deck and honor my cat. She was all black and wonderful. She passed away. Oh. Well, the shadows. <laughs> There has to be a day where you come into the, the the chat with some good news, buddy. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. <sighs> All right. This is for the Shadow's Cat. This is for the Shadow's Cat. Do we bring Soren in? I think we can try it like this and see what happens. 15 small... Fif two islands. Two islands. Come on. Just stop it. Fix your life. Mimic Fat is at the beginning... Exile at the beginning of the next end step. So I love that Mimic Fat, you can... At the end of the turn, you can actually exile a card. Or uh, not exile, but make a token. And then on your turn, untap it. And then it's still there. <sighs> yeah, the shadows, I uh, would assume as much, buddy. What is the island for? The island was for Night Vale Spectre. So sometimes they sneak in islands.
Get three more Garys. I don't think that's how drafting works in the cube, Mike. You only get one. There's only one Gary, buddy. Gary. I'll keep this hand. It's all uphill from here, right? I think the potential of having Cold Steel Heart uh, being able to ramp into, into four mana is stronger than just having a spell skit on turn two. So. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I mean. Gary under Mimic Vet is that is big game, dude. You are not wrong. That's unbeatable. Um, I'm still going to play this in case we draw. Like, I don't care about having spell get on turn two. It just doesn't do anything for me. But the potential of playing Phyrexian Metamorph, not Metamorph, uh, Obliterator or Bloodline Keeper on turn four if we draw either of those is significantly stronger. Also, Lifebane Zombie seems like it's going to be pretty OP right now. No, Whip of Erebus is also just fine. Um, let's see what you got here. Scavenging Ooze and Huntmaster of the Fells. Okay, well, you're going to play one of those, presumably. I actually care about Huntmaster more at this moment. Like, I think it's a bigger threat on the board, especially when there's no creatures in play. They could exile this. That's fine. They can actually go land, ooze, abrupt decay. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's loud. Let me move this over to a, a flatter surface. Um, I think Huntmaster of the Fells is harder to deal with for us. I mean, let's be honest. Scavenging Ooze is more obnoxious with whip in hand, but... It doesn't really, it doesn't really get out of hand the way Huntmaster can. Oh, they didn't actually. That's interesting. So ooze is gone, and you played forest. So you have swamp, swamp, abrupt decay. In. Intriguing. Most intriguing. Oh, uh, it doesn't hurt. I don't. I don't think it hurts mimic vat because actually mimic vat is a replacement ability, as far as I can know. I can. I can tell. Let me see. So it actually never goes to the graveyard, I think. Let me see. Let me see the wording on Mimic Fat. Uh, it says, whenever a non-token creature is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may exile that card. Okay, so it does have to be put. Ah, dang it, it's not. It is a trigger. You guys are right. Yeah, we'll just play we'll play Spell Skite here and we'll keep up heroes. Actually, Spell Skite's great here because we can actually redirect the decay to it. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I feel like they gave us a uh, a good opportunity here by not playing abrupt playing the swamp and abrupt decaying off of Wall of Roots. That's pretty sweet. He actually does look like a memnarch. Like a like a horror memnarch instead of a You start smell ability. I'll choose this one. Pay the life. Everybody wins. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. We did it. We did it, boys. Oh, and Evolving Wilds, eh? All right. So now you have a Swamp and two other cards. Oh, and they, clink, they clearly are not that ex Oh. This is a Flying Intimidating Lifebane Zombie. Hey, that's pretty good. Also... Dude, if we get a lifebane zombie under the mimic vat, every upkeep or draw step of theirs, we can actually just bring back a lifebane zombie. That's insane. Get him, Harold. Oh, Aronis. Got to be Aronisin right into the into the into the into game too. That's what we're gonna be doing.
Linka Delifo. Two and a half Memnarchs is my favorite Mirren sitcom. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. I mean, I think we're doing okay here. Okay. Seems good. Well, first you got to whip it, and then you got a nene. So I, I got to do it in the, in the correct order. But you're you're right. That was that was definitely coming. Also, the Sword of Feast and Famine against the green deck is pretty good. The, the old, I'll play an Arbor Elf. Does it resolve? Uh, yeah, that resolves. Okay, I'll concede. All right. Uh, I don't understand your methods, but I respect them. Actually, do we want Palladium Mirror in the main deck? This guy seems kind of weak. I think I'd rather have something like Soren or Slaughter Pact. Must be ours. To play. Oh, because the BM. Is that why, Mike? Mike, I always forget. Are you an Irish Gimp or are you? Is that your? Is that your DJ name? Is that? Are you an MC or an or, uh, or Irish? Are you still going on about the whip? It. It's not a big deal. It's okay. We're just playing a friendly cube. I'll keep this hand. I mean, they already saw Mimic, right? Like, they, they already saw Mimic Vat, and they saw Spellskite. If they're bringing an Artifact Hate, they're already bringing it in. They're not going to be like, oh, Whip? Now I'll really bring it in. Like, it's already it's already there. It's not, a, it's not the end of the world. I'm a McDonald's... Oh, the McGimp. Yeah, that was actually one of my favorite menu items. I would always get the McGimp, and then right before I whipped a Nainade, I think. Hmm. I like Greyborn Muse here, and that should get us. Double black card. That seems... That seems ambitious. Frank, you aren't saying words. Someone called 911 and he's having another stroke. What? Really? See, when you guys say stuff like that, I actually can't tell if you're joking or if something has gone wrong, terribly wrong with the stream. I'm like, oh god, for some reason we're dropping so many frames that it sounds like my 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 words are skipping. This is awkward for everybody, including me. Especially me. The McGimp comes in the old bit the old BLT box, except you can't open one side. <laughs> oh, this side seems to be broken. That's weird. See now I think I am having a panic attack. I'm probably hyperventilating. Look at oh, they got the double uh the the double double. Whatever the hell that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, Frank Headroom actually that's a good reference. That's a good Max Headroom reference. Good 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 Max Headroom reference. I'm a fan. Can why can't you let my card drawing resolve? I don't have to be complicated about this. Oh, that was a good draw. Land? Oh my god, this game is like, I'll give you everything you need. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm giving you everything you need. Alright, actually, we can. I like going Perilous Mirror into Vampire Nighthawk, and then next turn, Sedeciaing the Perilous Mirror. We already mentioned that, but I'm going to mention it again. Definitely not attacking with our Graveborn Muse, that's for sure. Because we're not maniacs. Uh, 
Just that guy, huh? No n deal. Actually, maybe we should have blocked. I don't know. We could also just Herald of Torment this guy and then be so far ahead. I think that's a Den Protector because they're always Den Protector. Although if they have Abrupt Decay, it's rough, right? If we try to bestow and they kill in response, how did that work? That killed it, right? Do you get to keep the Herald if they kill it in response? I thought it was if they killed it in general you got to keep it, but I didn't think you got to keep it if they just killed it normally. Alright, I'm going to trust you guys. God, I just don't have the Abrupt Decay. So no matter what, I get to keep it. All right, that's a good deal. That's That was one of the things I did love about Bestow Creatures, because it was like, well, you know, enchantments in general suck because they're card disadvantage. But let's make it so that if they kill the creature in response to the enchantment, you still get the creature. And that was great. This is aggressive. Oh, they're going to just flip the Den Protector. I see. So I guess we just kill the Den Protector. Or not. Maybe we just, we just take six here. Because next turn we can Sedisi and kill the Den Protector. I think their theory is like, even if they flip this guy, it's still... Yeah, we'll just take six here. We have a five, six. going on here masquerade no that wouldn't do much oh wow <laughs> all right well it is masquerade i guess we do get to kill your guy which is pretty cool hopefully it is yeah it's den protector interesting that's actually fine So we can just attack you. We can actually just Heroes Downfall this guy because it's problematic. Ruinous Path probably better. Yeah, I don't like Palladium Mirror in the deck. I don't think it does much. There's a hunter right here. I don't know if you guys can even see him. Yeah, you can see his little head. Yeah, that dude's dead. That dude is as dead as the day he was born. It doesn't make any sense. Is that even a saying? It's not a saying. Goodbye. So the problem is we're just breaking even here because we take f two, three, four... So we got to kind of put ourselves... I guess the grave board... Actually, we take... F oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. The old Crack Terramorphic Expanse in response to the Vampire Hexmage. A classic. Let's attack first. And I imagine that's game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 10, yeah. This is, this is the end. Kill you from 16. Grey Merchant is a stupid card, guys. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Hello, Gary! <laughs> 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 
Yeah, let's take out the stupid Palladium Mirror. The Palladium Mirror, because I, I was thinking, like, I like, ooh, I like being able to ramp, but, like, these are the only cards that we're ramping to with Palladium Mirror. And but that's kind of stupid. I'd rather just bring the Soren back. I just dealt 10 with a Grey Merchant. 10 damage. I just made a 20-point life swing with a Grey Merchant of Asphodel. The, the old five man. Uh, this hand is iffy, but I really do like Greyborn Muse a lot. We'll keep it. We got a rule. Uh, since Wizards hasn't said what is after Dominaria Core 19, I have no guesses. I, I think I think Theros is a little too soon. I also don't think Theros was one of the most well received sets, so I, I can't actually imagine them going back to Theros. It just doesn't make much sense. It also wasn't that long ago. Like I think Born of the Gods and Journey into Nyx were not very well received. They were they sold very poorly. Um so I don't I don't foresee Journey into Nyx or uh Theros being the next set. What up, Julian? Oh, you really you can slow you can show up now? Mm, okay. Storyline says Rav is interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't think Greyborn Muse, even if it resolves. Get in there. I'm gonna play this instead because if they're gonna counter something rather than counter this. Maybe. Well, seems good. That is interesting. That seems like it presents a problem, right? Yeah, it's always possible we don't go back to anywhere. Like, I don't think they like doing two back-to-back -back sets. Like, Dominaria is obviously a return set. I don't think they like doing two return sets in a row, so. You're going to counter my Liliana's Spectario? Next plane is just New Jersey. Join us as we travel back to New Jersey. Ooh, discarded Cyclonic Rift, huh? Vinny Mob Boss is the planeswalker from Cons of New Jersey. <laughs> oh, that's just, that's just gas. Oh, I like being able to resolve a Greyborn Muse here. And I like having a... Uh, 
spell sky to back it up. That's pretty good. I'd like to get rid of that, but I'm a black deck, so. I will pay two to keep that alive. Send me an angel oh, right now. Don't be two lands. It was two lands. I don't think this was correct. Maybe it was. Maybe we just get it back. I think this is actually... I don't know why we did this. <laughs> so bad. I totally forgot. I totally blanked for a second. I was like, oh, at least we can attack with this guy. Dang it. Now I'm tempted to just kill this guy. But it doesn't do anything. Mirror is a free attack, but then they block and then they get the thing. So... Yeah, the mirror... I think I just clicked the wrong guy. really sad for everybody involved here. I just wanted the two life, that's all. Maybe I thought it was going to die anyway, so I just wanted to get in the graveyard. I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to... Yeah, I, can, I can justify it in any number of ways that don't make sense or feel correct. You don't know my life. Hmm. Well, I'm going to try to kill this now. You're supposed to at least try to target something else. Don't be rude, Snag. Pretty good. I think that's actually unbeatable now. Mistakes were made. Yeah, actually it makes no sense for you to attack here. I just gain it back. Life all day. All right. I mean, I think we'd have more options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've drawn equal number of lands and spells. One of them is Cold Steel Heart, so it's more like nine, seven. Uh, no, because it exiles the creature. It doesn't sacrifice it. Mirror doesn't die. This exiles the creature.
Yeah, they're probably not blocking. But, I mean, yeah, that's an option, but I'd rather them just guarantee discard an extra card than cross my fingers and hope they block. Yeah, I think playing the Cold Steel Heart was probably our our biggest play mistake in this game. Like, we just didn't need the mana. Um, but we are aware of cards like Is It Charm or Rune Snag. So, like, us putting our shields down against a card like Rune Snag when we have Heroes Downfall in hand is pretty rough. Like, that's just that's just bad. Copy Sower, Steel Vampire Nighthawk, Attack for a Million. Yep, seems good. All right. Spellskite almost seems like a liability here. Take out Spellscape, bring in Sword of War and Peace. I also kind of like Icy Manipulator here, to be quite honest. Lifebane Zombie probably isn't going to hit anything, so I'd rather just bring in an Icy. Eh, Harvester's fine, but... Like, my problem with Harvester is it just doesn't wear a sword well. It requires us to have other creatures on board, and it doesn't interact with things like Mimic Vat. Like, we already have one equipment, one one vehicle in here. It does block well, but, like, I don't want to be the blocker in this matchup. I'm also, I'm reluctant to put in more one toughness creatures against the red deck. They could have things like Arc Trail or Fork Bolt. And they, we know they have Staff of Nin already, so I'm not going to... I actually almost want to cut Lily on a Spectre because of that. Because there's just... It's not a great card against the deck with uh, Staff of Nin. I think I'd rather just have Slaughter Pact. Yeah, we can keep this hand. <sighs> Rock Lobster. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, boy. Well, we're not gonna run. We're not gonna run into Is it Charm here. So, I mean, we might, but we're not gonna run Obliterator into Is it Charm. Is what I'm saying here. Interesting. Lash out. They always have the lash out. They didn't have the lash out. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Rock lobster. I'm intrigued by this Jace play here. I mean, I'll 100% kill your Jace if you let me kill your Jace. That was an interesting choice. Rock Lobster! Charm can deal two damage to creatures, yes. It can counter... Can it cannot counter creatures? I thought it was... Is it non-creature spell? There's so many things in magic, it's hard to say. <laughs> it is non-creature spell. Well, Rune Snag was what I was thinking, I guess. No blocks. All right, eight eight lands, three spells. Let's try not to have this be the the case. Rally McZally. Mustang Rally. Did you just kill the Night Vale Spectre? Sure. Interesting. You don't even care about Ralzark. You don't even care about your Planeswalkers. Okay, well, I guess we're just winning on the back of one Phyrexian Obliterator. Or losing on the back of one Phyrexian Obliterator. Oh, uh, who? Aridin, Aridin wins? Um, that is hard to say. Uh, I personally like Cube better because I think it's a more fun experience, but it's also, I think it's a more, um, I don't know. I don't want to say, I don't want to say skill testing, but I feel like it does require more familiarity with older cards and things. No play, huh? Okay. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna extort that. Exploit that, whatever. Whatever the mechanic is. Pay costs. It's annoying. Yeah, I think we're dead. We just don't... Like, we've drawn nothing this game. We've drawn nine to four. Nine, nine, nine mana sources to four spells. Our opponent has at least four spells along with a six-card hand. So. And we just have no efficient way to deal with a rekindling phoenix. Uh, if you played a lot of Modern a couple years ago, I wouldn't actually be surprised if you really enjoyed Modern Cube, because it's basically build you're basically building a constructed deck in a draft, if that makes sense. Okay, okay, I like I like what's happening now. We do get a chance to DC into exploit itself, into play. Have you seen Grow from the Ashes? I don't think I even know what that is. So no. No, I have not. Uh, what are we getting here? It's gotta be Whip, right? Rock 
Rock Lobster. Well, with two red, I don't think they can kill us this turn. So we go to seven. Ugh. Draw two, then discard two. Uh, that seems like desperation to me. Oh, it's a, it's a card. It's a magic card. All right, here, let me look it up. I'm going to look it up because I'm a visual person, and it's really hard for me to read text and get the same... Uh, to process it the same way as if I saw the actual card. I will assume it's green. Or white. Or black. Ooh. Or red. Ashes. Oh, man. this. Or maybe it's just a gold card. It's a green card. All right. Two green. Character two. Search library for basic land. Put it on the battlefield. And then shuffle your library. If the spell is kicked, instead search library for two basic lands. Put them on the... Um, Eh, it's, it's a thing, I guess. So is it charming to murder red cap, huh? Okay. Massacre worm one time. <laughs> Universe is a simulation, guys. Someone please clip that for me. Good lord. So now we have Massacre Worm and... Any one of these things. What's the point of attacking first? Like, I want to make sure they're, like, they can block less. They, they're actually dead if we just play this, right? Because they take four, they go to four, and then they can only block with one, so it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you so much for the bits, for the the uh, the Massacre Worm bits. Appreciate it. Wow, that was pretty unbelievable. Universe is a simulation. Oh, Dire Fleet Daredevil. What, do, we, do we bring in the Dreadboar Dire Fleet Daredevil Olivia Voldaren package? Let me know if someone's clipping that because that is very clippable. And I'll, I'll clip it myself if I have to. Which is weird for me because I'm the one streaming, but... Barman, nice. Preach. I don't want to mess up the mana too much. I wish one of these was a fetch land. But. We also have Cold Steel Heart, I guess. Yeah, I want to bring in Olivia. We're going to take out the Icy Manipulator. We're going to bring in Dreadbore. We're going to bring in Dire Fleet Pir Daredevil as well, because that's a good card. I can also bring an Earthquake, but they don't have any ground guys as far as we saw. So, we're going to take out these lands. Bring in these lands. Probably put in two mountains for three black cards. So, that's got two cards, huh? I'm uh, pretty sure anyone can clip. I don't think it has to be a sub or a mod. Uh, all right, we got to take out two cards. Two cards. Take out the Sword of War and Peace. I don't want two swords. And we can just go 41. Hand is okay. I wonder if they can actually beat a pack rat on turn two. So we're never going to have to worry about red mana.
your own perilous mirror. I'm going to skip it and just play this so that we can play either Vampire or Night Veil depending on what we draw. We actually didn't see Rune Black Mana. I might just play X Mage and kill that to be quite honest now. Watch us never see another swamp again. Not blocking, as you can imagine. Really? Really? Do they just change? Where's the red? Where are your red cards at? Bringing in black against the black deck seems bad. But what do I know? Connor Ryan with the clip. Oh, that's not the... That's not the right clip. That's a clip of the... De of the of the defensive clipping. That was a good draw. Is Mike going to be there for Hearthstone later? Will he go shot for shot with me per pack? Probably not doing those things with you. But... What is this you're doing? Fencer? Oh, you're a real annoying guy. How you live with yourself? Can we just kill this now? It feels like it. Ah, oh, the old horse versus ducks, eh? Hmm. Um, trying to figure out what we do here. They have five cards. We both draw one if they choose to jace. If they don't jace, then we then just they draw one. Sure. Did you trade Hexmage for one card? If my opponent was like, if they played a spell that said draw one card, right? And I had a card in hand that said, uh, if I had if Vampire Hexmage to just discard to prevent your opponent from drawing one card, would we do that? I don't think so. really annoying yep seems good It's okay, guys. They only have five cards in hand. Sure. All right. Good games. But not good games. Actual terrible games. Unfortunate. Master one, one time. We did it, boys. <sighs> I 
I'm not sure if we took the Palladium Mirror out in the actual deck or just in the uh, just in the sideboarding of the deck. So we'll find out when it's in our opening hand. Barman and Infinity, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, this this hand might be a thing. What up, JC? What up, Zaxor? I will keep. All right, let's hope this hand is uh, doing doing the work, doing the Lord's work here. Junction IV, thank you so much. Really appreciate the sub. Welcome to the Salt Brood. Thank you for the support. Um, yeah. Look, it's a classic. Two great tastes that go great, that taste great together. Okay, that's enough lands, though. I'm uh, a little tired of the 70-30 the ratio that I've been getting in these drafts. Got the old U2. Okay, well. I guess they just saw these cards and they were like, that's all you need. You're good. Oh, thanks. How about Vampire Nighthawk or Night Veil Spectre on turn two? Turn three, rather. Oh. All right. Sure. <laughs> Deal. No, oh, I can't. I can't even crew this idiot. <laughs> I will not be crewing. I will be blocking. I like that they have to have two answers for this guy right now because of Spell Skite. That's pretty promising. Unless they just go pay for or wipe the board. Then I'll just cry. Can we draw Spectre and then Smuggler's Copter into Hex Mage so we can have everything on board when we play this guy? Absolutely no way you attack here, right? Unless they're, unless you're a maniac. Are you a maniac? Are you an are you an actual barbarian? It was turned off. Apologies. Now it is turned on. Barman, what are all these clips you're posting? There's like four different clips. Is it charming to... Is it charming to... Ah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> oh my god, the other one was a laugh video? Oh, Jesus. Why are you like this? Wow, they're really thinking this over. I do like that we can just play Gary and then crew with Smuggler's Copter and discard one of these excessive lands. I am waiting. I am waiting. Oh, that's a Rolling Stone song. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it any justice here, but you know, it's it's a good one. It's featured in Wes Anderson movies. I don't know if it's more than one. I think it was just one, but I think it might have been Rushmore.
No attacks, huh? All right. I accept your proposal. Oh, yes, we will find it. Boom, 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 boom. Also, if we attack, I'm pretty sure we're attacking with both because I don't feel like getting... Uh... <laughs> wow. Oh, actually, we should have attacked with Spellskite. I'm really bad. That was why we... I was like, well, if we have two targets, then I don't have to attack with Spellskite, but... I totally should have attacked with Spellskite, because that plays around Condemn. Which I was afraid of. My point of attacking with Spellskite was to prevent Condemn. But then I said to myself, well, okay, so not attacking alone is what prevents Condemn. So then I attacked with Smuggler's Copter, and I was like, okay, now Blitter is not attacking alone. So... My head changed. Spellskite can redirect to condemn if it's attacking. Two, I have to attack with more than one guy in order to prevent Phyrexian Obliterator from getting condemned. That was an interesting way the brain processes things, right? Like, that was an in interesting way to process. I like that Connor Ryan is posting processors, Intel, Intel Core 2 Duo processors. That's nice. Also, Gary combos with... You can go turn four Grave, Graveborn Muse, turn five Gary, and not only does it deal more damage, but you get to draw two cards every turn from, Grave, from uh, Graveborn Muse. Yeah, Blessed Alliance also in the cube. So in that case, like, I don't mind Smuggler's Copter getting Blessed Alliance. In fact, I would rather, if I was attacking with Spellskite and I had to sacrifice something, I would still sacrifice the Smuggler's Copter because I put that much value on the Obliterator. Um, but if we're trying to play around Condemn, we want to attack with Spellskite as well because that's the only way to redirect it to Spellskite is if it is an attacking creature. Soren's negative three doesn't look good, but doesn't Soren's plus two look real good when they're at six? <laughs> Set his life to ten, then kill him. Oh, God. What if I neg three myself to rub salt in the wound? I'm like, all right, I'll put myself to 10, kill you. <laughs> like, it's just terrible, right? Well, if any, if no decks can beat the Scarab God Commander, then they'll probably ban him. Like, that's just how magic works, right? Like, they're actually really good at formats like that, where they, they ban things if they're over, if they're too powerful. Wait, Gary's what? What did you say Gary was? Damn, boy, he's thick, boy! That's a thick-ass boy, damn! Yeah, I agree with you. I think that's true. Soren's negative seven isn't like game control of their turn or something. Yeah. It's just mind control. I think we did okay there. I don't know if we necessarily need to change anything. 
I'm comfortable with where we're at. <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking amazing. Love it. We have a good time. Keeps, keep, 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 keep. Pro white sword would have been good. I didn't think about it, but I'm also just we're just trying to have fun here. We're just trying to have some some magic to get. Oh, pro black sword open on ruthless ripper. I see. Coming coming in hot. I see. Pack rat into sword of hammer. I think we're doing just fine. Just fine. I'm actually tempted to just play, just make a rat next turn. Discard this Cold Steel Heart, make a rat. Lifebane Zombie also seems legit. All our, our hand seems gas. Go, go, gas. Go, 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 gas. Oh, yeah, I got the news for you, friend. So, they equip... If we just take a hit here, I mean, we, we lose a lot, but then we get to... Equip Pack Rat next turn and untap all our lands. That seems really good. So we're gonna take five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna take we're gonna ten. They're gonna gain th four. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, why would you play that before gaining the life from Ruthless Ripper? That's weird. All right, gain three instead. Fine by me. Well, that's obnoxious, but. Intimidate and Sword of, of Pro Black is pretty good because it says you can only be blocked by black creatures and this gives you protection from black creatures, so. Aleshnorn and Brimaz. You have four lands. We're going to take the King of the Cats here. Lingering Souls is also pretty good. But we have Bloodline Keeper. I guess we're okay here. I don't know. Magic's hard. Interesting. Well, I'm definitely just blocking with Pack Rat, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because we're otherwise we're dead. Sure. It's an interesting choice. It's got enough trample, right? I'll take one. Deal.
Uh, he doesn't have enough mana to cast coal, to cast Lingering Souls. That's what he doesn't have. Uh, he used two to equip the sword. They don't have mana for Lingering Souls. I'm trying to see if we took out Spellskite. Uh, we did not. So we're actually going to name Blue. And we'll assume they'll discard Lingering Souls because that's just good value. Sadisi. Should we play the land this turn? Yeah, turn five. All right. I would love to re-equip here, but magic's hard. So three, four, we take six right now, seven, eight. We can go to one, which I actually think is okay. So keeping a rat is fine, but the problem is if they drew anything to play, they can just block the rat. Like, this guy guarantees get through. I think Bloodline Keeper is too good to die. <laughs> I think we have to go to one here, which is awkward, but... Uh, Sword of Feast and Famine and Sword of War and Peace. Yep. Go to one. You got it. We might be dead to that, actually. Unless we draw something good. Ruinous path. Six, seven. That's a blocker. It's actually pretty reasonable. So we're going to need three dudes. We got... Yeah, that's actually great. Ah. Choose a land. You could choose a creature. Choose a land. Lingering Souls is gone. So you have a Leshnorn, but... I think we're still dead. They have three guys. And we only have two blockers. Maybe they won't see it. We're dead if we attack anyway. We they have they would have four guys. They would have three guys if we kill this. This would be tapped. So like we'd have two blockers. Like attacking taps our guy but untaps our blocker. It doesn't change the math. Moving sword doesn't do anything. Yep. All right, that'll do. Annoying. I mean, it was still a game where we drew five, six, seven, eight mana sources to one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Eight to six. I mean, it's hard to keep up when those are your those are your numbers. I think I'd rather have Aether Sphere Harvester here instead of Smuggler's Copter. They have Lingering Souls. Man, Massacre Room is real good here. Sort of War and Peace might be worth coming in. Just going up to 41 here. I 
mean, this is non-black creature. I mean, I think we're good with Hero's Downfall, uh, Lifebane Zombie, Ruinous Path. I think we have enough removal. I'll keep it. I think if we can hit Soren, we're in good shape. Vampire Hex Mage also blocks very well. Fast games, you can't say 16 lands after it already submitted. What's that? Come on, come on. Keep, try to keep up, buddy. I expect better from you. I mean, ideally, we just draw like Night Vale Spectre, Phyrexian Obliterator, Grey Merchant, Land. Those are, the, those are the lands we draw. Those are the cards we draw in that order. Uh, we have two five drops and two six drops. We have... Oh, land. That's good. We have Torment... Uh, not Torment Traveler. Um, sorry, I was reading the chat. We have uh, Sadisi and Grey Merchant at five. We have Soren and Massacre at six. That's a good card. All right. Well, pretty sure that just kills us. I have no idea what you just linked, Connor Ryan. I'm an English major, not a math major. Realistically, though, Soren does a good job of taking care of these guys, so... There's a tiny bug flying around. Can you motivate me to write a 1500 word essay about O.G. Simpson, John Benet Ramsey, and Scott Peterson by 11? Um, I shouldn't have to motivate. 1500 words is like nothing. Oh, you thought your the subscription was paying for math tutoring. This is awkward. Uh, I apologize for that. I did not mean for any math tutoring to be implied either directly or indirectly. Uh, please see the terms of service. Cheap, 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 cheap. Yep, love to have a way to kill that guy. Eight to three. Can we talk about it now? Can we talk about the... Uh Can we talk about the disparity on lands to spells? Do you find out what Mike's lottery win was? Um, Mike actually... So it's weird. Mike got a new job. And it's for this uh, online company. He works from home. And they're like, we're going to send you a check for so you can buy all like, the software and like the equipment you need for this job. Like a printer and a scanner and stuff. And so he got the check the other day. And it was like $6,400. It was just this random check for $6,400. And... Uh, it was just very shocking because we're like, well, this is very strange. And so we just, we had a theory that it was just a, it's a money laundering company. Frank, honest question. Have you ever considered not drawing lands? I consider it all the time. 
Um, I don't actually get to do it very frequently, though. It's the opportunity doesn't present itself. It's okay. It's okay. So we play Soren. He goes up to six. We kill one of these guys. That's actually pretty good. Because we can just block with Aether Sphere Harvester a lot as well. It's really just Hero's Downfall, and then we just got a shock out of it. We get a, a free Douse in Gloom. Black, 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 number one. That's an old typo negative song. Yeah, I would say screw, be screw beats flood. The reason being that once you start to draw lands, you're in good shape. Hm. Oh god, it's totally going to be an Aleshnorn. <laughs> god. 100% Aleshnorn. Here we go. Conveniently, these are the only three realistic creatures you'd want to attack with here anyway. So uh, it makes sense that they're only attacking with these creatures outside of the crew, the outside of the hideaway ability. So this is actually great. All right. If we can eat two guys every turn, one from the Aether for Harvester and one from the Soren, I think that actually. It's actually pretty good. Well, I guess no. I guess we're breaking even still because Bloodline Keeper... Oh, here we go. Here we go. I can't imagine you wouldn't Alesh Norn before damage, right? It's actually fine. That could be worse. Aether Shear Harvester does a lot of work against that, so... Why didn't you play that first and then trigger it off the sword? That's interesting. Can I draw a non non land? No, no, I can't. Okay, well, thank you, thank you anyway. Appreciate it, Preesh. This is a pretty easy target here. Unless you happen to have a one mana. Yeah, all right, I didn't think so. Four, five, six, eight, nine. What do we got? Nine, nine land, four spells, huh? That's pretty good. <laughs> Sweet ratio. Muted for what? What do I do? Yep. So they're going to have four attackers here. And we have three blockers. So we one, two, th we block here or the biggest sorted. This is if they if they put the sword on this, it's actually f it's not great cuz we don't get to kill it. Remember the time we just hit 200 subs? We were actually at a 239 right now. 239 subs. That is insane to me. You guys have been so incredibly supportive, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream enough to uh, to support the channel. Thank you so much for that. I could not be more excited. Also, me, me streaming consistently has definitely helped that, I imagine. 
So. All right, that's fine. Can I get a Vampire Nighthawk? I'll take a Vampire Nighthawk for crying out loud. They have a spell too. What's it like to only draw six lands and have three extra spells? I, I don't know. I've I've never known. Seems good. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys had a good time. As a European, it also helps to do upload anytime often not awake at your new stream. Um, I've started to stream at 2 p.m. Eastern time, so that should be around 6 p.m. your time. Or uh, not 6 p.m., 8 p.m. your time, Prism. I imagine. Can we get Massacre Warren one time off the tippity top? Being a streamer does not seem like very good money. How many? How much did you think streamers made? <laughs> I mean, it's not solely streaming, though. It's also, like, revenue from YouTube videos. So if you guys subscribe or follow on YouTube, thank you so much. Uh, it adds up. Like, it, I, it, I appreciate that. Uh, it's also content creation on the side, like writing articles. You know, it's it, it adds up. It's, it's just one piece of the pie. They don't even care about Soren. Just give me a mask room. I mean, if you thought people were making, like, thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars a day. Oh, cool. It doesn't even work now. That's great. <sighs> Literal four spells this game. Longest running sub is probably either Trojan Rage. Uh... Some Elf Asshole or uh, Three Kroner, which is Yoakum. So, can't actually kill anything now, and we're dead on board. So, five, six, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, Yep, cool. Block here, five, six, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, there's nothing we can even draw here, so what are you, you going to do? That's really frustrating. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. really appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, next time we can do a little better. Hopefully, we don't draw 10 lands to 4 spells or 11 lands or whatever ridiculous amount of lands that was. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you later.